Good afternoon. Uh, our, our park preserves the traces of natural and the human history of the territory, the ancient and the recent ones. The territory where the park resides was formed from fluvial sediments, uh, partly after the latest ice age that caused the advancing of the coastal line. You can see how it happened in this sequence of maps. Uh, you can see this pentagon is a point near the coast in the Roman age. In two millennium, you can see the same pentagon. And so, in two millennium, the coastal line advanced a few kilometers, including ancient lagoons, dunes, little islands. The territory was populated by ancient Paleolithic hunters and Neolithic farmers, Etruscan and Romans. Archaeological artifacts found in local museums provide this evidence. And Roman hot springs and villa of Massachusetts. or the medieval basilica of San Piero a Grado, which is an eminent evidence of the maritime republic of Pisa, where the bishop officiated the wedding of the city of Pisa with the sea. In the foundations of the building, there are the remains of a Roman harbor. And also, there are little hidden ports in Massachusetts Lake. The width of the woods is another historical testimony. You can see uh, the, part, the green part of this map. The park houses the widest coastal forest in the Mediterranean basin. This forest hunts on the ancient Silva Palatina, that was an imperial possession of the descendants of Carlo Magno more than a millennium ago and remi remains uh, till today. San Rossore, the most famous estate in the park that houses our offices in this building, is the place of the kings. First it was under imperial possession, then became property of the Bishop of Pisa, Later, the princes of the ancient Tuscan state owned it. It became the summer residence of the king of Italy, and then, after the Second World War, of the president of the Italian Republic. In the last 10 years, San Rossore estate is managed directly by the park. In this territory, our park was created 30 years ago. In the month of December, we will celebrate the 30th birthday. This is uh, the symbol of the park, woods, rivers, and wetlands, and birds, and other animals. But the park wasn't created by order of kings, princes, or bishops. The park was established as a reaction of ordinary people to a series of property speculation that might have destroyed historical and natural memories of the territory. Commercial arbors in the south, touristic arbors in the north, and replacing wood and dunes with towns of vacation houses. Those were the projects, and against those projects, a movement uh, happened. These are images of 40 years ago. They are newspapers, wall newspapers, and sandwich mans. Sorry, they are in Italian language, but you can often see the word speculation or speculators is recurrent. A popular movement of citizens 
students, journalists. They earned the recognition of Italian scientific community, community and the local and regional institutions. And from these struggles, the collected signatures, the proposals, and the petitions, all recognized by the institution, the park was born together with, with the strength of its planning instruments. And so Tuscany had a new park. It's the second regional park in, uh, in Tuscany. Uh, this force and this instrument had preserved rare and wonderful places as the dunes with their vegetation able to live in a hostile and arid environment. This environment has produced over millennia has several unique endemic littoral plants. There are plants endemic of the littoral, the littoral of the sea, exclusive of the coast of the park, such as the solidego, this, uh, this plant. And then the woods. In the park, there are three types of woods. First is pine forest that Elisabetta described, which naturally tends to uh, the other is the Mediterranean forest that lives uh, under the pine forest and uh, naturally tends to replace the same natural pine forest. And uh, the hardwood forest, this one, the hardwood forest mainland, often associated with wetlands. The location of the park is the meeting point of the central European flora and the Euro-Mediterranean one, the meeting point of North and South Europe. Here, are, here there are mountain species at sea level. And then wetlands, those dunals, the canals, and the two rivers, Arno and Serki, the biggest rivers in Tuscany, and the lake, water landscape rich of fascinating plants. Plants of wetlands, along with those of the dunes, are those that testify to the events of natural history from the territory, such as the moss is Spanium, this one, and uh, sand dew as reminiscences of the Ice Age, or the Fern Osmunda Regalis and uh, Liana Periploca Greca. Those are relics of pre-glacial climates, both oceanic and subtropics. Finally, the agricultural areas which contribute to the biodiversity of species and landscapes. And uh, often through the various environments of the park, many species of birds, the passerines, the wood peaks, peakers, the raptors, some birds also decided to start a family in the park. And all that, it's what we tell the children and the population with our rangers, with our operators, with the enthusiasm of volunteers. And we want to transmit to next generations. And we hope all of you can visit in person. Thanks for your attention.